So here's a little impromptu video on my phone. Let's take this steering wheel out. Nice. So I didn't have a bezel in here. I had taken it out, but the gauge cluster uh, sort of backlighting stopped working. So I decided I uh, don't really want, feel like fixing that. It looks kind of plain and I wanted a tachometer. So I went on eBay and I found this. This thing was about, I think like 120 bucks on eBay. Not bad, decent condition. And uh, the mileage is similar. I was also watching a video on here on this app that was showing some fella. What he did basically is he reprogrammed his gauge cluster, his new gauge cluster, because he also did this swap. And he ended up swapping the, not swap, he, he reprogrammed this somehow. I don't know, that's too, um, it's, it's really cool. I don't, I wouldn't be able to do that though because I am not anywhere near this guy's level. It's cool. I'm rip this out of here. Shout out to this guy um, that I bought this cluster off of on eBay. I will link your information above or below, hopefully. Thank you. Now on the photos, I thought this was a white sort of back backing, but, um, or like faces, but they look um, kind of grayish, which ain't bad. I don't mind it at all. So yeah, it should be plug and play from what I've seen on the videos. You can just put this cluster in there, you know, just plug it up basically, you know, and it, and this should work. So um, let's see if it works. I hope this works. There's no satisfying click from that one. Chuck her on back inside. Oh, that looks sick. Okay, moment of truth. Will it work? Hoping the tachometer works here. Let's go. Oh! <laughs> we have a tack, boys. We have a tack. And we also have 20,000 more miles, but that's fine because we have a tachometer now. That is so cool. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. Waiting so waiting for the RPMs to drop so we can give her a little rep. That's so cool that this is plug and play also. It is so awesome. I didn't know that. I was gonna buy a tack and just like chuck it right here. But why would I do that when I could just get another cluster and you know, sort of write, I have to write the miles. All right, I'm shooting in 4K now. Maybe it's a bit better. We'll see. Brothers XJ's right there. That's cool. We might do some videos of that later. I'll tell my brother to fix it. But let's get a little rev going. Let's, let's see. Oh, I love it. I love it. That's so cool. like a little white stuff right there. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> Ugh, still don't have door panels. Anyways, I never gave you guys a proper update or I never finished recording an update for this video. I installed the tack. Let's give her a, let's turn her on. Nice, no check engine light. Uh, a couple days after installing this new tack, the engine light came on. Had one of my buddies clear it and we got it sorted out. We sorted out the problem, hoping it doesn't come back on. But if it does, we'll have our buddy Max help us out with that. Shout out to Max if you're watching this. Thank you. Anyways, back to the cluster. So yeah, you got these off-white gauges. Those are cool. Got my bezel back in here. It's a little chipped. But you know what? It's fine. I'd rather just have a little chip than have to buy a completely new one that's brittle, uh, brittle from the junkyard. Sorry, my words are, you know. Anyways, <clears throat> I also got this cool keychain, so that's cool. But back to the cluster. We have about 20,000 more miles, but it's fine. We can do the math. We're never going to sell this car either way. I mean, unless um, we really have to, but we're, we're, hope we're hoping we don't have to do that, so. I have to remove filler words from my vocabulary and it's very difficult because I am not smart. Uh, 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 this, uh, that, uh, 
what's this? This is a fake wheel. This is not a real TRD spec wheel, clearly because it has electrical tape on the top. Would I recommend this? Yes, go on eBay. There's also a black one, uh, black faces with orange lights. Oh, also speaking of lights, yeah, I swapped the lights for orange ones just because it looks that much better. I mean, in my opinion, orange gives your, your eyes less strain whilst you're driving at night, so. You know, race car things. What do you want in an endurance race, huh? You want those big bright lights just just piercing through your little your little eyes, you're just just like cutting into your eyes, just ah you can't see. You get orange lights. So <laughs> I'm I must sound insane right now. But yeah, I put the lights in and besides that, yeah, everything is cool. We do have this E right here. Not sure why there's a negative E right there. It's, it's not really bothering us, so I don't care. I highly recommend the swap. Check it out. The numbers have a sort of a shadow to them. You guys see that? They're like, oh, look at that. That's cool. That's like character and design right there that you don't have in the original ones. The original ones are bland in comparison. I love it get a tack all right that's the end of the video thank you guys for watching like and subscribe if you want to see more toyota related content my hand is not that white i'll be seeing you guys in the next video take care everyone see you